So here we are sitting around the table with some permaculture luminaries. It's, uh, it's amazing to come and, and share this moment of the final completion of the English edition of the Permaculture Guidebook. And um, yeah, we're looking towards um, taking this and then bringing other people around to help share it and to translate into different languages. Mm. Yeah, and um, such a great resource, uh, that, that first book that was uh, put out by Timor yesterday. Um, a lot of the early permaculture uh, books, I guess, were focused on, the, on that cold, temperate area and there was a lack of resources around for tropical permaculture and it was just a godsend being able to teach in Southeast Asia having such a resource like that that's easily accessible to people. Yes. So it's now, yeah, it's grown from that. Yeah. The thing I remember from when we did that launch back in 2015 was the work that you were doing with everyone on the ground out there to get as much information in each drawing as possible that at that point the drawings were an incredibly rich resource mm. but to now have it translated and to then see it translated into many more languages will bring so many new layers to the drawings yeah. for people that, that haven't been there without, without that translation. So it's, it's very exciting. Yeah, yeah and also uh, this uh, Tropical Permaculture Guide book, it's, a, it's in English. So, because of the original, it's, uh, we translate into three languages, Tetum, uh, Bahasa, Indonesia, and English. So then, after being adopted in Indonesia, after uh, tsunami in Aceh 2002, so then uh, Permatil, uh, with Lachlan, we adopted, uh, then we come up with second edition, uh, which is uh, published in 2008, and that's... Uh, I think it's been a long time ago, and now this uh, this uh, uh, tropical permaculture guidebook it involves so many people around the world that already implementing around the tropical area. So this first uh, edition, this book is in English. So now we're trying to um, look at possibility of translate back to Tatum and also to other languages as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm aware of it. <coughs> huge extent of the permaculture networks in Brazil and the whole thing, mm. potential mm. ironically of Portuguese, Portuguese of course, yeah. in Brazilian Portuguese, yeah. you know, opening up a yeah. whole lot of connections uh, it is. there through. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the new work that needs uh, needs support, the, the trans, translation. Yeah, we're looking for support and we're looking for people to work with. So new organisations doing the work on the ground that we can work with, we can partner with, and then we can bring those partnerships on board and share the work with them. So that'll enhance their work, as well as getting the translations done and then moving this out. So we believe in the fair share principle of getting it out to the people who need it, the people who can contribute, can contribute what they can, and that helps to keep the project rolling. This is the new English edition of the Tropical Permaculture Guidebook and you can find it at permacultureguidebook.org. We'd love to thank everyone who has contributed so far to the production of this to get it where it is and we're looking forward to taking it to the next stages to translate into multiple languages of the tropical regions. Thanks. <laughs>